Hello everyone, welcome back to Twirling Teacup Mama. Um, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for being here and it really means a lot to me. Again, <laughs> don't mind the rickety chair, but I know that there's a lot of social media um, people that you can follow out there and watch their content, videos, whatever, but I just wanted to say a um, sweet thank you to y'all because I know I have quite a new, quite a few <laughs> new subscribers, at least for me. So I just wanted to personally thank you all and thank you all for being here. And for those of y'all that are new, um, I'll try not to be too redundant, but my name is Claire and I am a stay at home mom. I'm in my early thirties and um, I just love making YouTube videos. So whatever audience I can reach, I am happy to be here. I'm happy to show y'all things I've been buying or things I've been liking recently. and. I hope to continue to expand on my content on my videos. And also I know there's like <laughs> this weird glare going on here on my forehead and on my face. I'm not really sure what that is. So we might be pausing this in a minute to figure that out and we'll get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Um, I know my lighting in my bedroom is really weird. So I've been trying to play around with like my table lamps back here and not do the overhead light. Um, so I don't know, we'll just see. <laughs> We'll see what um, this video brings. But today I'm going to be filming a, oh, and one of my cats is walking in like, what are you doing mom? Um, be filming a like fall decor haul, which I'm so excited for. I am ready for it. Fall weather, <laughs> wherever you are. We have been sweating in the devil's dungeon this last week. Um, it has been so hot. It was like over hundred degrees every day, which I love the warm weather, don't get me wrong, but. <laughs> Oh, Nelly, it was so hot. So we're starting to come off that. It is now like in the 80s, which hey, they'll take that for fall weather. Pumpkin spice is back. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm just ready for a good season. I'm just weather, ready for the weather to cool down just a little bit. But while we're waiting for our weather aspirations to come true, let's get started on my fall items. So first, I have this really cute. Oh, actually, oh, let's see if I can get him up. Speaking of fall, Cade's like, no, thank you. Oh, he just jumped out of my lap. Okay. I know I say this a lot, but y'all, this is real life. Okay. This is what I do for trying to get my cat to come say hi. He's like not having it. But first let's start off with this really cute pumpkin sweatshirt that says, hello, pumpkin, which I know this is backwards for y'all, but, and it has this cute, like glittery pumpkin up here. And it's in this really nice kind of like gray slate, like a dark gray sweatshirt. And it is a hoodie. I don't know if y'all can tell, um, which I used to love hoodies, like in high school and college, I wore them all the time. And um, I would love to get a college sweatshirts and sorority sweatshirts and everything, but I've been more of a crew neck girl since I've been older, but this sweatshirt is just, I don't know. I just love it so much and it's so cozy. Um, I actually got this back in my um, hometown where I grew up. So if I can find it, I will link it for y'all, but I am wearing a medium and it's just very cozy. I mean, it fits good, but it still has that cozy feel to it. So I absolutely love it and it washes really well too. Okay, and then next, while we're starting on clothes, um, <laughs> my husband kind of giggled at me when I first bought these because he's like, are you really gonna wear these? He's like, I really like them, but he doesn't get the high shoe like sneaker trend, but I found these adorable brown and cream um, tennis shoes from Target and I've worn them quite a few times. They're like platform tennis shoes and I don't remember who made them. I think it's that brand like A New Day or something. I'm sorry y'all. I'm not sure but I honestly just kind of came upon these by happenstance that I was walking past a certain aisle and I just saw these sitting there in a box and I'm like oh I need these. I was like, I need to try these on. And I didn't really have high hopes for them because I thought these were so cute and I absolutely love them. But I thought I'm going to feel silly in these or they're not going to be comfortable. But for being in my early thirties and you know, just not a spring chick anymore, these are great <laughs> and they're very comfortable. Um, I can wear them with jeans. You can wear them. I've worn them with like black kind of like flowy pants. Um, I actually wore them for church today. So I really feel like you can wear them for different occasions and they're very comfortable. And if I can find those two, I'll, I'll just link everything I can down below. So, um, 
I won't, so I won't be saying that a million times, but anything I can find for y'all, it'll be in the description because I know that's a lot easier. <laughs> okay, so let's start mm, with our home decor stuff. We're going to start with CVS, which I'm actually <laughs> so shocked that I found things at CVS, but um, a few weeks ago, I was over there picking up some medicine and some things that we needed. And I just happened to walk down their fall aisle and I saw these two um, coffee cups that just kind of caught my eye because they remind me of um, a brand called Louisville Stoneware, which if y'all aren't um, familiar with that brand, you should really look them up because Louisville Stoneware has the most beautiful like dinner plates, coffee mugs, and it's all made in Kentucky. So I just absolutely love it. But these seemed like kind of a knockoff, which I hate to buy something that was a knockoff from a company I really like, but I cannot beat the price point and the cuteness factor of these. They were $10 each, $10 for these like substantial, nice coffee mugs. And this orange one has a pumpkin on it. I love the like rustic kind of look to it. And then the silvery gray one has like a little autumn or autonomal leaf on it. I'm not really sure what kind of leaf that is, but how cute are these? I just, <laughs> I love them. I so when I saw them a few weeks ago, I thought, oh, I'm going to think about those. And then the other day I dropped off my kids at school and I'm like, I'm going to go back and check if they're there. And I thought, if they're there, it's a sign. It's just a sign I need them. <laughs> so I just had to pick these up and I'm very glad I did. And I've added them to my little coffee bar station downstairs. So when I give you all like a tour of how I've decorated with all these items, um, I will show you how my coffee bar is decorated. And I also, I don't know if I mentioned this because... <laughs> I just sometimes lose my train of thought, but um, I've kind of like switched how I've decorated for fall this year. Um, ever since I've been like 18, I've loved like bright, fun, just like neon colors in my home decor and doing everything like patterned and out there and the pinks and the oranges and all that, like you can see back here, which I still love that style, but for like my home decor this year for fall, I really wanted to go with like a more woodland themed because just this year we have come about so many situations with a bunch of woodland animals around our house. And it's another story for another day, but I just feel like I live in like a National Geographic movie. Like we have so many woodland animals that we have come to love and to see around our house. So I'm like, you know what? That's just going to be our theme. I want like more of a natural look. I want more like neutral colors, like in our downstairs, like in our main living area, and then save like the fun colors for up here. So, um, a lot of this stuff is, <laughs> I tried not to buy too much because I didn't need a lot, but the stuff I did buy, I tried to stick to like a more like natural, neutral kind of tone palette and color palette. So that's just very shocking for me. I'm a whole new person. I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> Not really, but it is just very different um, decorating style for me. But I'm excited to show y'all again in my next video how I've put all this together. So next we'll go to home goods, which I know it's hard to share stuff from home goods because, you know, just because one store has it doesn't mean they all do. And, you know, I don't know. Or sometimes you'll share something and you might go look for it and it's gone. But I'll just show y'all still what I got because I think it's cute. First off is this cute rattan, like dark rattan wicker mushroom, which I have always loved to like eat mushrooms. I think they're delicious. And then I think it was like last year, mushrooms just really had a moment <laughs> in like decor and seeing it out, it, you know, out in home stores everywhere. And now I saw it's so interesting because who just knew? I don't know. I just didn't know mushrooms were going to make such a... <laughs> come back from like, I don't know, maybe they're around like in the seventies or something. I'm not sure, but I just saw this and I actually got this maybe like in July or something, but I just thought this will be great. And I've added this into my kitchen, um, kind of next to where we have our sink and everything. But again, I'll show you, but I just thought this was a great addition to our home decor. And then the other thing I got from home goods, I just got, um, actually last week because my parents had to return something and they gave me a like store, like a, like a store credit. Is that what you call it? So I was looking around thinking, okay, I'm only going to buy something I actually need. And then I thought, I don't really have anything for the front porch this year. And 
ta-da! I got this beautiful, again, wicker, like a light wicker color, and it was $24.99, but again, I had a store credit for this. But it's a beautiful, like, natural-looking pumpkin that I can put on our front porch, but the real nice thing about it is it's open on the bottom, so I'm hoping to put, like, a fake, like, votive candle in here so it'll light up at nighttime, or, like, at dusk, and, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to, like, take a stroll through our subdivision and see this lit up and look at all the other houses around because I know it's just going to be beautiful. Oh, and then the last thing I got um, at Home Goods. Oh, that's a lie. There's two more things. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> forgot. These were gifts from my parents. Um, one was this Welcome Great Pumpkin. Um, it's like a Snoopy, um, what do you call it? It's like a rubber spatula. And I think it might have come with like a dish towel, which I did not bring up, but it's just like a pumpkin dish towel. And I'll insert a picture of it if I can. But I am always needing, um, sorry, I know it's really hard to focus, but I'm always needing rubber spatulas. I feel like we use these all the time. And then I was kind of thinking and I thought, oh, that'd be kind of fun to get different like seasonal ones. I have a Valentine one I've just had forever, but now I'm like, I'm gonna be on the lookout for like a cute, whether it be a rubber spatula or spoon or something to add into our utensil holder for each season. And then I also got, or my parents got me this cute little white jack-o'-lantern pumpkin that has a black kitty cat on top. And as we see him from earlier in this video, I do have a black cat um, named Cade. <laughs> it's a sweetheart. And I don't even know, it smells so good. It doesn't say what the scent is, but it smells like a cinnamon pumpkin kind of smell. Not as strong as like the sweet cinnamon pumpkin from Bath and Body, but a little bit more um, toned down. But I just love this candle because my <laughs> my parents know I'm like a candle freak. Like I go through candles so, oh, close call, it's a spatula. <laughs> I go through candles so quickly. And especially this time of year, I just feel like it helps kind of like start my day. I like the candles, I get my coffee, you know, I turn on like, our cozy lights and I don't know. I just, I love candles. So, and I think it'll be nice to be able to reuse that one as well. And then I can put either a plant in there or use it as a container for something next year. So I cannot wait for that. Okay, next, this is just a random find. <laughs> Speaking of candles, good segue that I found at the grocery store yesterday. And it's called the Foundry Candle Company, which I've not heard of it, but um, I think they're out of Nashville. Is that right? Mm, yes, it's out of Nashville. But the smell is tobacco and amber. And it's this really nice, like, beautiful, like, amber, like, brown jar. And it's a soy candle. Oh, it smells so good. And again, I just got this at our local um, grocery store yesterday. But where I grew up um, is a big area that um, makes or makes, <laughs> excuse me, grows tobacco, which I know might kind of sound weird, but to me, tobacco is such a comforting smell because it just reminds me of like driving around like on old back country roads and seeing the tobacco barn smoke going up. And I mean, I know tobacco is not great for you. I'm not trying to encourage that or anything. All I'm saying is that the smell just smells like home to me. And it's just a very, um, like reminiscent smell. It just is like a nostalgic smell to me. So again, I'm not trying to encourage, <laughs> if anybody says anything, I'm not trying to encourage tobacco use or anything, but just tobacco is grown a lot where I'm from. So this um, candle just smells like home. So not trying to be controversial here. <laughs> and then the next um, things we'll move towards is how about Hobby Lobby? Because I really found some great things this year at Hobby Lobby. Um, I really like how they have, they don't really have like a Halloween selection, but I love their harvest and like their autumn um, findings that they have. And it's all very, I don't know, just like warm and cozy kind of stuff. I really love it. And also they already have their Christmas stuff out. So I am like, ah. <laughs> my brain's just like going into like a, overdrive mode of like, okay, let's enjoy like getting all this stuff put out first. And then I can start thinking about Christmas, but man, it's so tempting to go buy some Christmas stuff, but I'm trying to be good and I'm trying not to spend too much money, but we'll see. Cause I feel like I've been going to Hobby Lobby like three times a week, 
But the first thing is I got, which is probably gonna be hard to see. Again, I'm sorry y'all for the glare, but it's just like a vase filler or like a bowl filler and it's just pine cones and they're really like small teeny ones. Okay, let me see if I can show you this way. Yeah, and that white thing won't be in the front. But these were, I don't know, $4.99 just for this bag. And we have tons of pine cones outside. But some of ours, like, again, we've had a bunch of woodland critters around recently. So I just thought, we're just going to get some that are in a nice bag. <laughs> have not been contaminated or touched. But I just love the natural look of pine cones. So I'm going to scatter those across our dining room table. And then also from Hobby Lobby, I got, um, oh, Again, a very natural looking, like, little pumpkin. I don't want to say it's like wicker or anything. It's just that natural kind of woven look. And I actually bought, brought, ugh, bought three of these. Y'all, I can't talk today. I even have my coffee with me. And I'm still struggling. But I bought three of these and I actually have them on our mantle. And I have little furry little pumpkin friends at the end that I'll show you. But I just, I love how this looks. Um... Again, it's a very natural look, and I can't wait to show you how the rest of the fireplace is decorated. And then also from Home Goods, I got, oh, sorry for the noise. I probably should have gotten these out of the bag beforehand. <laughs> okay, so the first off is this little hedgehog, little pumpkin and he was $7.49, but I think everything, like all the fall stuff at Hobby Lobby is like 40% off or something. So this definitely did not cost this much. But he even has his little pricklies <laughs> on the back. Or, I don't know, maybe he's supposed to be a porcupine. I think he's a hedgehog, but whatever he is, he's super cute. And I have the raccoon one from last year, which again, I'll show y'all when we do a home to decor tour. And then the other one I got is this little fox and oh how precious and the fox even he has like a little leaf <laughs> coming from like his stem I just love it and I love the orange color and he's so sweet um I don't know where I'm going to put these two exactly I think one of my daughters wanted to put one in her room so I'll just kind of let them choose and then find a sweet spot for the other one and then um world market I just love world market it it's a very close tie between that and anthropology, like what my favorite store is, um, but I just love World Market. I don't know. They always have nice things, and I didn't get too much from there this year, but I did get this beautiful, like, two-tone dipped vase, and I think most of these florals in here are from World Market that I just have collected over time that I tried to make a display in, but how nice is this vase? And it's, I mean, it's very, it's a little heavy. So I'll, I'll give it that. It's like a nice vase to have. It's very sturdy. It has this beautiful cream color. Like It's like a, almost feels like terracotta um, on the bottom. And then this like very pretty, like taupey brown on the top. And I think I took the stick. Oh, no, I didn't. They're $22. But if you sign up for like World Market's reward system, I think I actually had a coupon to get like a discount off these. And also they send you coupons all the time in the mail or not in the mail in your emails so always be on the lookout for those because world market is just a beautiful store but i'll show you one more time because i just love this so much <laughs> again it was 22 dollars, but i did get this for a discounted price and then from target i was needing a new like front door wreath um because i have this really cute um candy corn <laughs> door hanger i've always used until a few years ago um, and it said like happy fall y'all on it or something but a few years ago um uh, we were having pizza delivered to our house and the pizza guy said oh I love that pepperoni pizza that you have hanging on your door and I was like shocked I mean it does have little polka dots on it but I could clearly tell it was a candy corn but my husband like busted out laughing so now every year since then I've hung it up he's like oh I like our slice of pizza door hanger and I'm just like okay Okay, I'm like, you know what? We're just gonna like keep this, but when I find something I really like, we are gonna be replacing this and I'm just gonna put that one inside because I don't want people to think, I, I mean, I love pizza, but not that much to put on my front door. So this year I finally found a wreath I really liked. And again, I'm, well, it did look a lot nicer than this, but 
we have been like so hot with 100 plus degree weather and then we got this huge storm the other night so this kind of got a little messed up in the storm because I didn't know it was coming um but it's a very nice like natural like wheat um, wreath <laughs> and it has like the wood on the back so just disregard this part I'm trying to kind of figure out what to do with it but it is so nice and it looks so beautiful on our front door and it's just something I feel like I can keep for years and years to come and it'll look nice for like fall Thanksgiving you know it's just it's just a nice one to have out all season it's not Halloween specific and then my last thing I'm going to show y'all and um it happens to be my favorite <laughs> is this beautiful look <laughs> it's like he's creeping up fox pumpkin with like a bottle brush bottle brush tree like tail like it has that same material but how adorable I'm telling y'all I just love a woodland theme I'm a new person I love well I've always loved woodland animals like ducks and deers have always been my favorite animals but how cute is he last year I got the deer which I'll put a picture in um up here up here somewhere and I love the deer and this is from Grandin Road I'm sorry I don't think I said that but it was pretty pricey I think he was around like $90 so if my husband's listening to this sorry but um last year I got the deer and I got the deer like after or after Halloween and fall so the deer was like really discounted and I thought okay like I, I can justify buying this and then this year they have a deer a fox and a wait a deer a fox and a raccoon um, but this year I thought, oh, I really want to get like another one to add down our fireplace. And I couldn't decide between the raccoon and the fox. But then of course I got one of those sneaky emails saying, you know, an item you love is running out of stock. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to get it. I'm just going to do it. And I did. And do I regret him? No, because he is so cute. But now I saw that Grand and Road is having like a 31% off sale of like certain fall items. So of course that raccoon's on sale. So now I'm trying to decide, but <laughs> there's some of our family members in our house that do not like raccoons. So I'm like, I don't want to like traumatize or scare anyone. So I might have to wait on that one until next year, but I am so happy about him. His orange is so pretty. He just looks like two pumpkins. He's got the little stem, the cute bushy tail. And I know it's more of an investment piece, but to me, it's definitely worth it. And I hope to always cherish this for years to come. My daughters love looking at this one and our deer pumpkin like this. And, you know, if they're older one day and want them, I will gladly pass it on and hopefully keep it in the family. But I know this was kind of a longer video and I appreciate y'all sitting tight and listening and um, just seeing all the fall items I bought this year. Again, I didn't, well, I don't think I bought too much, not as much as usual. I just tried to pick items that, um, I knew like we needed, um, but didn't want to go overboard, you know, just trying to add like small pieces that are like meaningful to me and that add just happiness to our home decor. And I don't know if that made sense, but <laughs> I just tried not to go overboard and just buy things I thought we really needed. And that's it. Cause it's so easy to get swept into all the like frenzy of like, Oh, I need this, this, and this on every aisle. And it's all so sweet, but I just try to make a list of the stuff that I wanted for our house and I think I got it all. The only thing I'm missing is a front door mat, but um, I don't know. When one comes along that I really find, um, I'll just find get that probably and I can show you all in a later video. But thank you all so much again for watching. If you feel inclined to do so, please like this video, please share it, um, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you all again next time for a fall decor tour. And I hope y'all have a blessed day and a great August. Bye.